What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about different microphones and when to use them. Welcome back to Info Mondays on the Asian Filmmaker. I am your host, Jason. Now, there are plenty of different microphones out there and they all serve a very different purpose. For example, right now I am wearing a clip-on lavalier mic right now. And then right here we have a longer tube shotgun mic and then one of these mini shotgun mics for your DSLR. Each one serves a very different purpose and we will go through each one by one. One of the most common mics that is used for filmmakers is the lavalier mic or known as the clip-on mic. These mics you've seen before, they just clip onto your shirt or your collar, or if you're on a filmmaking set, you can probably hide it in a little object nearby. These are really small microphones and they capture sound all around them. You'll see wedding filmmakers use this quite a lot as they'll clip it onto the groom and it should be able to capture most of the audio between the priest, the bride, and the groom. Now, if you're shooting a cinematic film, during a wide shot, you can easily hide this mic on the actor, no problem. However, when you get closer into the action, that's where you're probably gonna need to use something like this. These little shotgun mics are great. They only capture sound that's coming from the front. So if you face the microphone away from somebody, you're not gonna be able to catch a whole lot of what they're saying, kind of like this. As you can see, you can hear me quite clearly right now, and I'm gonna keep talking as I move the microphone away from me, away from me, pointing away from the same direction, but I'm still talking around the same time, and this is what I sound like with it back in front of me. Now these things can be cheap or they can be really, really expensive. This one is the Techstar SGC598. I'll do a review eventually. And this thing I believe cost me only about 30 bucks. Whereas these mics can even get up to 300s depending on what you really want. Now that little shotgun mic that you mount onto your DSLR is probably only good for capturing ambient sound or if you're maybe at a live event and you're just going up to someone real quick and capturing a few words. If you're on a film set, you're probably gonna wanna use something like this. This is also a shotgun microphone, but it definitely has a much longer barrel and a very narrow capturing range. Now generally on a film set, you're gonna have someone that does sound. It might be a sound operator, boom operator, sound technician, what have you. Their job is to get the mic as close to the actor as possible without actually entering into the frame. So generally when you see these nice close-up shots of two people talking in a movie, there's probably a boom mic just outside the frame above them, pointing right at their mouths so that they capture a nice clean audio. So there you have it. Those are the three microphones you can purchase as a filmmaker, and I will be doing a review of these eventually down the road. Now, you may not have the money to get all three at once, so you're gonna have to ask yourself, what kind of things are you shooting? Are you shooting more interviews or are you shooting more cinematic features? In which case, if you're gonna be an interview shooter for a lot of just events and such, probably a lavalier mic will be more than enough for you. It's very cheap that you can get them for like 15 or $20 and they won't break the bank. You're probably not gonna wanna go with this if you're doing a lot of interviews, just because you're gonna wanna get as close as you can to the actual interviewee, and it might be very uncomfortable for them to have a camera this close with a microphone sticking right at them. You probably won't need to go with this one either. However, there are a lot of situations where you can use these. You just have to buy a boom pole that stands by itself, and then you just set it up right below the interviewee. Now, if you're a cinematic filmmaker, you're gonna want to invest in probably all three of these as they all serve a different purpose for different scenes and capturing that audio. However, if you do have a dedicated sound guy, chances are he probably already has all these microphones. That is it for this week on Info Mondays. If you have any questions about these microphones, just shoot me a comment down below, or you can hit me up on Facebook and or Twitter. Now, this month is gonna be really busy for me as I will be starting to shoot my web series, the teaser of it. You can check it out at breakingwavesproduction.com, link right down below. It's help support the project, like me on Facebook on that front, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Visiting any links that I provide helps me create future content just for you.